G'day. So I wanted to give a quick introduction just before the video to explain a few things. This is an any percent speedrun of the PC version of Final Fantasy VII, and in true any percent fashion, we really just get weird with it and break the game down entirely. So there's a whole host of technical tricks that you won't normally see in like your more familiar console seven hour-ish speedruns of this game, and that's finally enabled us to get below the 100 minute barrier, which honestly I'm just psyched about. This is something I've pushed for almost a year, honestly, for this moment, and we've done it. So, yeah, if you are interested in learning any of these shorter categories with the warps and that sort of thing, first join the Discord. It's always a huge benefit. It's a really friendly and helpful community. Uh, I've also got a set of notes for this category, and I do plan on making some uh, either a video or a set of notes for New Game Plus as well. If you're after the more full game experience, check my Twitch. I'm going to be streaming runs very, very soon of the full like seven-ish hour run. And yeah, big shout out to Chucky for finding this new set of warps and keep an eye out for an entirely new route in the near, near future. Cheers. <clears throat> I was so stoked as well, that first attempt where I fucked up Avalanche skip, but still managed to recover and get the battle skip on the uh, the early frame as well. That would have been nuts to have in a PB, but I, I guess not. Today is not the day for it. Day is serious runs, no shenanigans. Okay. Yeah, no, this is it. <clears throat> Thanks, Quenny. I've decided as well that this run is the run. This is the sub-100. Hi, YouTube in advance. Welcome to the fucking sickest 99 minutes of your life. No shenanigans, you're out. Ah, damn it. See you, clock. I'm sorry, dude. I've let the boys down, haven't I? It's the run until it isn't. Yeah, pretty much, eh? Every run's got potential. Not every run. Some runs have potential. Other runs, they're high runs, so... If only I had, um, chat displayed on my, uh, stream as well. Deck Endeavor sub 140. How hype is that? Not very hype. Only the first one counts. I'm so cross about this. Just I'm cross to my core about it. Sub 69 sample. Oh, let's go. Never thought I'd think of sample as a sub, but you know, that's what you're into. Figured he had more of like the whips and that sort of shit with his arms. Shitty ATB. There it is. But this is... Double potion drop. Calling it now. Ooh. That was technically a double potion drop. It's just they, um, they cancelled each other out. So you, you couldn't see them was just too fast for you, but if you went back and slowed it down, that was definitely it. Alright, so I'm six seconds behind. Which, for a slow encounter, not too bad. Move, cunt! That also makes me cross. Sorry, check out this fast elevator at least. Burn. 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 
Actually, yeah, that's a really good point though, Dino. Now if I lose 33 seconds in the run, I get exactly a 69 sample, that's basically the god run. Nothing can ever beat it. I was too slow. Too slow by like a good three or four frames at least. Always really tempted to menu skip that battle. Wasted movement. I'm not entirely sure how I wasted that much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a good chance to um counteract that really shitty scorpion I had earlier. Put an extra scope at the end and finish with like 200 total HP. <laughs> Which is very slow later. Take probably three turns to kill my party off. Okay, above average. Bang on average, let's go. Crit, 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 crit. Wuss. Slightly below average damage. You pick that shit up. It's a little bit low on health now. I like if he's on like 155-ish before tail phase. So that way he can cop two tails, get an extra big shot. But now it's likely he's gonna die. Unless I get a, a weak crit. I did not. But I could survive this. If he survives this, this is the run. I don't make the rules. Ah ha ha ha. We've done it. A big shot crit, just to finish it off. Easy to help. <clears throat> crit, crit, crit. Oh, it's a good fight. I'm rather happy with that. Oh, the gold! Let's go! Okay, so save slot two. Mm. 
the gold. I think there's a decent chance I'm going to have, like, just available time in the yard, the gold split there, because I added the avalanche skip split. So, like, every guard scorpion was technically gold after the, um, three minutes had been taken off of it, you know? But, I mean, shit, I'll take the endorphins anytime. My, uh, my serotonin boost for the day is not seeing a red split on Guard Scorpion. Kill him. Yes. Good. Hope it hurt. Be good if he had died. Oh no, I guess he couldn't have died before the other big shot. The big shot killed. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's enough room for the uh, for the graph, unfortunately. With all the like the the previous seg and best segs and all that sort of stuff, it just kind of takes away from as many splits as I can actually display. And I'd like to have most of mid on display at least, you know. All about those integral functions, hell yeah, dude. Nah, no, I'm not gonna cut three splits. Because then it would be Shinra HQ. Like, who wants to be like, oh, how fast can you get to Shinra HQ? People are like, fuck, what's your heli gunner split? That's the true metric of Final Fantasy speedruns. If we can't see your heli gunner, you're probably a phony. Literally, word for word, what Zeal told me. And RJ and Kuma and Dummy and all the other mods, Diesel and them. Private messages only though. They just said, yeah, if you can't see your heli gunner, fuck off. We don't want you. The very exclusionary community. I check this sick overtake. Nice. Right past him. I'm going to have to get water in the Reno break. Three dozen runs to me. just one out of the three in the future, please. Now, nah, the end time, you think it's important, but it's just, it's the journey along the way. That's what really matters, you know? It's not the friends we made along the way. It's not the treasure at the end. It's how fucking fast your heli gunner split is. Literally the only metric we use. The rest of the game is just for fun, honestly. Dumb to unwind after an intense Midgar. But yeah, they they probably did have a, a quiet chat amongst themselves. Like, do we do we ban phrase from submitting? Do we do we have a strong word against him? Like, do we break his submitting fingers? Or I put up ten runs in the space of like oh no, I put in I think it was eight runs in the space of about three weeks, four weeks, which admittedly are only like ninety minute runs on average because it was half a new game plus half any percent. But it's still like a shitload of me that I had to watch. And one of them, I spliced. So, just one run. Yo, what up, Boris? How you doing, brother? Yeah, if anyone can find out where I spliced which run, let me know. And I'll, uh, I'll pay you hush money. Yo, um, how's Neon White doing, dude? So you were playing that till like four o'clock this morning, yeah? Is it the new hot speed game of the uh, of the moment?
and I saw like three people put it on their wish list pretty much instantly, so I think you may have convinced a couple. Easy, Jesse. Skip. Let's go. You're gonna be like, ah, oh, fuck. Now I gotta watch those two. Spion, dude. Make these bloody mods work for their money. Such a high-paying, prestigious job. We need to put them through their paces. Got it yesterday and have 21 hours. Far out. That's nuts, dude. Good on ya. How, um, how recent of a game is it? Didn't it just come out like a couple of weeks ago? Because I'm curious about like how um, how populated the boards are for speedrun.com. Oh, brutal dude. What happened? Was it like a, a weather event or just burst pipes or something? And they came out a few weeks ago, lit. No worries, Queenie. Good to see ya. Good luck with your reports. Good luck with your exams. Um, if Nostra didn't tell you earlier, all of your other clients have cancelled and I'm now at the top of the list. And if anyone else questions it, just go with it. Yeah, go on. Force your assistant to do the work for you. Never gone poorly for anyone. Yeah, in case anyone is looking for emotes or badges or anything like that, Queenie is incredibly talented. All of my Final Fantasy related anything is through her. So sub badges, emotes, everything like that. Would recommend 10 out of 10. Fantastic customer service. Also, it stops Nostro from pestering you for like three whole days, which is really nice. But there's six reports in total. Ooh. Good luck. Tiff. Bloody Tiff. No worries, Nostra. What I'm here for, mate. I'm just looking for that steep discount. Bloody Tiff. Of all names as well. Like Tiffa would have been better. Hmm, I abhor as well. Whoever designed the keyboard that's attached to that computer behind Jesse really got the proportions wrong. Like it's got the numpad, but no like spin key section or like arrow keys or nothing. It's completely ruined my immersion, honestly. I need realistic keyboard graphics in video games. Scientifically sound reports in latex. I've no idea what latex is, but the fact that you capitalized it like that makes it seem like it's a program of some sort that I will never use. That sounds cool as. Professional and shit? Fuck yeah. What I'm all about. I mean, we did establish earlier this needs to be a suit stream, so... All about the professionality. I'm not a boomer, fuck off. I'm still in my 20s clock. This is the prime of my life. I'm in peak physical condition. I'm in my 20s. I'm young. I'm hip. I'm hanging with the, uh, the other youth. And yeah, so I'm 30 next month. Till then, 
peak physical condition. Like Microsoft Word for physicist. Ooh, fancy. So it doesn't have Clippy? That sounds like a net loss, honestly. So when my birthday rolls around, I'll be a boomer. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's how that works. They're like, yep, 30, that's the cutoff. No longer a millennial. Now you're a boomer. <clears throat> Although on the plus side, that probably means I get to own a house and have negative gearing. Um, so, yeah, being a boomer isn't probably the worst outcome. what I'm holding directions there for. So I don't actually know what day my birthday is, because I generally don't really celebrate birthdays too much. Like, it's a, a nice thing to be aware of for other people, but it's, it's never been a hugely important thing, in my own opinion of myself. But I might do, like, a, a birthday stream around then. Do, like, a... I don't know, 12 hour stream or something like that, do like a no slots run and then like one run of every other game that I do type thing, just as a special occasion. But I could also not do that, so. We all know how reliable I am with the schedule. Two, three, four. Phrase thong, fuck yeah dude. I get right around that. Alright, so sell everything by 20. No, sell potions by 20, I meant to say. PC menus, man. PC menus. It's too far. Okay, okay. Kind of slow, but it is what it is. Yeah, so you can go ahead and do exclamation schedule to find out my upcoming streams. Things I've booked in in advance. It's always up to date as well, which is nice. I actually should go through and like find out all the old commands and shit I've made in Nightbot. Clean them up a bit. Bum, bum, Okay, so this could still be a fairly speedy, um, for Neo's entrance. I think I need to, like, reassess my idea of fast in that, because I'm not using C um, SCM anymore. It's like, I'm looking at a 1038 reactor and going, fuck, that's 40 seconds slower than I want, but it actually is kind of speedy. See if I can get this easy diner skip. Nope. Never lucky. It's lost like a second and a half as well. percent NLS. Jesus Christ, dude. I've got no idea. I 
I'm assuming that's a Groksu record or a house record, yeah? So I'd imagine Weiss, Weiss House's record will be your blind time, I think. Groksu, yeah. Fuck that dude's good. A little bit, I wish he was more approachable without, like, ooh, cynicism and sarcasm when, like, <clears throat> asking questions about the run type stuff. But he's an insanely knowledgeable dude as well. Like a 345. Yeah, good luck, dude. When are you doing it? Presumably after ASM, yeah? I swear to God, if you learn a new category just to avoid de-rusting three any, it's some sort of dedication to procrastination. Tonight, hell yeah. What time are you kicking off, you reckon? In about 71 minutes and 6 seconds, this run will be finished. Oh, okay, cool. Yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll catch a good chunk of it at least. Yeah, honestly, anything else is just a distraction from the true speed game, Legend of the River King. Game Boy Color Edition, thank you very much. Not the Game Boy Edition. I think, anyway, I'm not sure. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. It was actually a really fun run to, um, to, like, learn and do all within 12 hours or 6 hours or whatever it was. But it was an insane amount of RNG. And I don't think I want to run it again. Just at all. I would have liked to go for the sub hour when I originally did it, but... Yeah, it's, it's not a game that I want to, like, take the time and effort to practice and memorize and all that sort of stuff. Super fun as a one-off. Like, if anyone is looking for just a fuck around speed game with a good tutorial, a good way of doing it. Yeah, absolutely. And with the community in Legend of the River King, or around Legend of the River King as well, like, there's a lot of helpful people popped into my stream for it and was just like, yo, do this, don't do this. Like, here's all the answers, basically. <laughs> in a row I've done that. Ladies. 28.38. So I'm about... 50 seconds behind SCM. Let's go find Tiff. How 
Um, is Quentin, like, running awake or whatever it's called? Or is that somebody else that I'm thinking of? So I remember, I remember the name Quentin from around the time running awake popped up. Yeah, it is true. Yeah, they, they learned it really fast. Um, it is very straightforward. Like, the, the big time sink is just understanding the RNG. Well, not even understanding it, just understanding that there is RNG and you're just going to have to wait. <clears throat> if you bot me, I might run it back. Matter of fact, if you bot me, I'll race you. Yo, what up, Flood? How you doing, man? That's a big any percent world record holder holding up. With, from what I understand, an unbeatable world record as well. Which is fucked. Like, that's so cool, dude. Really, really proud of you for getting it. Deal? Hell yeah, dude. Bop me. Bop me harder. You're goddamn right you're pretty good, Flood. You're more than pretty good. You're insane. Let's get learning. Hell yeah, dude. Fuck NLS. Real ones know that uh, Lotterker is the uh, Ruru speed game. Final Fantasy's been real good, dude. Um, obviously running the, the warps categories for the most part of my Final Fantasy career. But yeah, new stuff has happened recently. The whole, like, final section of this run after you get out of Midgar and do, like, the world map warping and stuff is completely different now. Could save, like, up to about five minutes. Four or five minutes, something like that, with really good execution and luck. So, yeah. It's kind of reinvigorating this category a bit. Which is good, because it's been a bit stale lately for me. But yeah, it should be some good shit happening. It'll be like a big shuffle of the leaderboards happening soon as well. Hopefully some new runners too. Because I've seen like... I think I've seen like four new names who have said they're actively learning this category at the moment. In like the last week and a half alone. So I really hope that comes through. Even if it's just a couple of runs here and there. Like it's always really cool seeing new people get into this one. Yeah, there is something different every time. It's always like, well, more frequently it's just minor optimizations. Little, you know, like paralysis dodges and that sort of stuff that I've just figured out or found out about and just practiced a little bit. But, yeah, big route change is really nice for this one. Yeah, competition is always good. It's, um... Yeah, it very quickly became a driving force for me in this category, especially. Saying earlier about Zergu12, who is just a ballistically good gamer. So yeah, when he started popping up and doing runs of this category as well, it was <clears throat> instead of just me doing the category with like one or two other people who were learning it, it was like his his proper like constant competitive drive behind it. That was mad. And then he bought me, so he's dead to me. But aside from that. It was good fun. Yeah, with all the um the different stuff at the end of this run, like the entire run until that point is the same. So if anyone listening and lurking does kinda have an interest in learning the category, it's not a like a oh you've gotta just wait for a couple of weeks while we figure it out. Like you can still learn it real good, learn all of Midgu real good, and then just change the warps later on. Alright, so in about eight minutes I can get a drink. So what did I do last time? I got the um air attack which was 
It's careless, honestly. Frick. So this one from Cloud should kill. So I think damage has been kind of low, but okay. Nice. We're losing. Time. Oh, that's also got to incorporate the fact that the, uh, the guard skip split is now like eight seconds earlier. So apps is also going to be like eight seconds longer just because the, um, the game moment split instead of entering war market. So maybe I should delete that um, gold. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very frequently I'm getting caught in the um the water at the bottom there. Just can't get around that corner without nudging L1 a few times. Once again though, this encounter is gonna be on the Um the the base of the ramp heading up. But the huge difference this time, I'm not gonna miss it. Okay, now it's not. That was a lot of movement. One off, really? Even went for the second menu. So, this is, I'm pretty sure, where I had the encounter last run as well. So I could still make it into the tunnel, unless my stairs are trash. Which, I think I should go for shitty stairs and not have a press L1 on every corner, because I think shittier movement is going to cost me less time than, like, standing still doing nothing. And especially with fraction rounding as well, like, there's no point really being too scared about it. Get your wedges ready if you got them. Big ol' kashplat. Instantly run into a barrier. Is that four of them that time? I mean, it beats literally every one of them, but... Still. Yeah, 
that was like probably four or five seconds I lost just to standing still on the stairs there. Push the button then, dickhead. Alright, two attacks, two first attacks, that is. And. One, come on, Cloud. What a god. <clears throat> cool, so I've skipped one of these turns. So even if I get stuck, I'm not gonna get second pyramid. But I would love if he does fast attacks. Yo, what up, banana? How you doing, homie? <clears throat> Congrats on the big 117 PB. Doing well? Heck yeah, dude. Doing pretty damn well as well, thank you. PB? Yeah, finished run is technically a PB. It still counts. Something to be proud of. But yeah, nah. Final Fantasy is exciting. There's a whole new system of warps at the end of the run now, so theoretically save like five minutes over PB. Well, over PB I could theoretically save like nine minutes. But yeah. Kinda sick, dude. Not really exciting. And with the new warps, it's brought back a whole bunch of like old tricks that used to be in the route but aren't anymore. Solo Cloud and like Arm Skip 1.0 and that sort of shit. Yeah, some shit went down, man. Fucking A. As he's. Massive find, basically. Big, big, big invigoration. Easy slap, skip, skip, skip. There it is. One time for Clock District. Yeah, went run back. Do it. And now, haven't you heard, Banana? Clock's done with 117, dude. It's all about that hundo NLS. Alright, I'm getting water. Be good. Ahoy. Brought in the world's noisiest cat. Yes, you. You're so loud. Yeah, I know. Get out of the way. Please. Thank you. A clock when 120. Because if you're doing the 337, I assume you're doing, that means 120 is soon. Yeah, soon. Just like when I say, oh yeah, I'll stream soon. I'll be back soon. Literally always a lie. So, pretty sure I should still be in the, um, tunnel for the encounter. Yo, what up, Sour? How you doing, dude? Thanks for the good luck. Possibly, uh, 327, 117, 210 NLS, and then you start the 120. Okay, cool. So you're going for, like, a, a proper competitive 337 then, are you? That's sick, dude. 
that's a ambitious goal but it's fucking awesome going good hell yeah dude glad to hear it going pretty decently here as well I know I've said it a few times in the last couple of minutes but I am excited about it it's a whole new warp system for this category new tricks new things to enjoy new mistakes to make good times all around 337 arc is insane yeah fucking a dude you're bopping hammer are you that's so rough, man. Poor guy just wants to have a good time in a couple of games, and all you do is hunt him down. Possibly a daytime 337 each weekend. Alright, so that'll be... I'll call that 20, regardless. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. With the water snake, yeah. Um, so you know how calm skip happened in October last year, something like that, and we we now like ride the chocobo through the mountain range and all that sort of stuff. The original way of doing it that Kuma discovered was you have to. Um, yeah, you have to glitch out the chocobo so you can get off of him um, without him running away. And the way to do that is by, on the same frame, you step onto the grass on the other side of the marsh, also getting into encounter with the Zolom, because the Zolom walks you back to the side that you were just on. But because you had just touched the grass on the other side, triggered a flag saying you're on that side so you can get off the chocobo safely. So, yeah, we've got both of that shit, like, happening at the same time. So now we can get off at Midgar, which we need to go back to to do another trick called Solo Cloud. Which we didn't need to do before, which is now why we've reverted back to this version of Calm Skip. But it's it's just as easy. Like, it's, it's, it's the same as Guard Skip. It's the same as all the other stuff. It's just movement, you know? You go X amount of frames this direction, X amount of frames this direction, you're going to get it right. It's all good. Except the Chocolom is the real shitty run killer, I reckon. Hopefully it's more consistent with the new keyboard strategy that Kuma taught me. But it's it's still a bit of a bitch, honestly. <laughs> Speedrun magic, yeah, that's pretty much it, yeah. Yeah, there's there's very frequently new stuff coming out. It's really dope. Um, it is hard to keep up. Honestly, yes. But for this category especially, it's not long. It's like an hour and a half to two hours. So if anything new comes out, it's just like, oh, okay, cool. We'll take a couple of days to learn it type thing and then just integrate it into the route. Whereas with the um, any percent no slots and hundo and that sort of stuff, any change you make early in the run really can affect later on. So that's when like the whole reroutes happen. Like um, Fury Ring is the, the new up and coming strat for... Demon's Gate. But to get Fury Ring, you've got to change your step route to pick up the item in Gongaga. And then all your menus will be different after that and everything like that, so... It really does have that knock-on effect. Whereas for this, it's... Done. There is no knock-on because there's nothing to knock. He did the tie video, did he? Oh, cool. I don't think I saw that for some reason. Like, even a thumbnail of it. Yeah, that's rough as when you, like, put effort into something and then instantly it's just kind of obsolete. I'm glad the notes I put out had, like, a good three month of life, um, before the, the new skips came out. I will be updating those notes probably in the next couple of days as well. Once we figure out, like, what the, uh, most reliable way of doing things is. But I also really want to make a new Game Plus tutorial. Because the only one is from a couple of years ago, I think, and is severely outdated. So I'd, I'd like to write something up for that, but I also kind of want to make a video tutorial for it. This is a thing to do, basically. Something different I've never done before. Be interesting. Figuring out how to, like, edit the video together and have it all seamless and 
actually get the information I need across. Plus, I wouldn't mind having like a movement guide and stuff in it as well. Just for reactor and shit. Alright, so sell everything by 51. I'll have 378 left. Fucking double inputs, man. Fuck's sake. It's, it's entirely my fault. Thanks for the follow. I'll be completely honest, it's entirely my fault for trying to do the menu too fast. But it's still irritating that it can happen. Hey yo, thanks for the follow, dude. How you doing? Easy game, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, that was... Part of the reason I put together like the, the notes for this route is to make it a bit more accessible rather than like piecing together things from like four different outdated guides. But yeah, I'm barely aware that what I intended to be like a beginner set of notes is more of like a, if you've run this game before or you've played it like fairly well casually, then you can pick up from there, you know? So I might have to figure out a way of like rewording it so it's actually beginner friendly without making it like 50 pages long, because it's already like 20. Um, after this, hopefully after this run, I'll, um, I'll have my world record back. Sour, just saying. Um, but yeah, no, hopefully after this run, I've got a, a decent sub 140. Uh, I don't really want to push it too heavily. The bells represent, by the way, get around it. Um, but yeah, I've, I've got like, actual console runs to start. Ooh. NTSCU copy and all that sort of stuff shipped over from Dilwingo. He's an absolute god. So that's the big plan, man. Been the big plan for a year, and I'm finally almost getting around to it. When I first learned the, um, like, the emulator category, I had just finished, like, all of my notes, my step route, my practice save, everything like that. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to do probably my first run in like a couple of days. And then calm skip happened. And it's like, oh, okay, cool. Everything's got to change now. All the menus, all the, all the um, step route, everything like that. Then I put a couple of months into PC any percent with calm route, but with calm skip. And then, yeah, I got excited about running a different category. But a new set of warps came out. And I'm basically trapped. I can't leave. I just want to do a more than two hour run. Just can't get away. Oh, thought that was too early. Got yours as well, never to run. Hell yeah, dude. Now you should definitely learn it. Yeah, what's going on, Matt? Welcome back, dude. The one thing I'm kind of upset about, about my um, PlayStation 2, is I got a region unlocked one. And apparently the only thing it can't play is PAL PS1 discs. Which are, all of my PlayStation 1 games are PAL, you know? <clears throat> so I can do all my PS2 games on PAL. But if I want to run, like I do want to run Spyro, RG and Croc and all that, I got to get a copy shipped over. Which is a kind of cool concept, like collecting games to the point I get them shipped in, that's... Pretty sick in my head. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. You've been running on emulator, haven't you? Yeah, for the vast majority of games, it is better on NTSC. Except for Gran Turismo 3 is faster on PAL. Little fun fact for you. Is one of the cars that you sell is worth 10 times more in the PAL copy. Um, ooh. That was really, really shitty. Hey, one slot one. All right, any alt tabbers? We've got an elevator. But yeah, the entire Gran Turismo 3 route is not possible on um NTSC, which I think is just hilarious.
crash two is faster as well, is it? Ooh. Do you know why? At ATB. Okay, this is definitely the 15, and it's not the 17, and if you see the 17, you tell him he's a dick. Movement tech is more doable. Oh, okay. That's cool. Is that like the, the hop sliding and all that sort of stuff? Seventeen. Zero five eleven zero. This should be a mighty grunt. Hob sliding is NST. Oh, okay. This is not a mighty grunt either. Um, interesting. I thought that was in the originals as well. Live and learn, I guess. All right. So zero five eleven zero. Choose seven. Hell yeah. Um, five, eleven, zero. One, two, three, seven. There you go, there's your seven. Sweet zero, and I'm good. That frame light. Well, there you go, Matt. Instead of choosing a zero, I chose a five for you. It's not a seven, but it's close enough. time. Not very good. Remember when the elevator sucked? I still know that it sucks. It's just sometimes it doesn't kill me. Nah, actually I gotta say, like, the whole elevator manip is really fun to pull off. Even when it doesn't work out properly and like you make mistakes and stuff, it's still a really cool strategy and it's really enjoyable to do. You know the worst thing? Is I'm not running against an elevator manip um, PB. Like this PB is from eight months ago, dude. So I should be absolutely crushing it. Although I do think it was like a two encounter or something like that. Yeah, what up, Blink? How you doing? Welcome back. Yeah, so my um my final split now that I've removed all the warps and stuff, I think it's like a 17 minute gold. So it uh it would look pretty exciting finally when it actually finishes the run. That summer best is gonna drop. I mean, I, I was much better than I am now, Dino. Now I'm all out of practice and rusty and shit. Doing runs like once every fortnight for the last like three months is, yeah, not as good as I need to be.
Just a retired old man. We've been over this. I'm not a boomer till next month. Gosh. Oh, with some fun stuff to bring to the table. Oh, cool. You care to share any of the fun stuff you've come up with? I'm always interested in new strats. <clears throat> um, better beat material keeper. King. We're all boomers at heart? Hell yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Ooh, a weekly segment in the future. I like it. Sounds very promising. Helping you and the missus. Nice. But yeah, my, um, my micro back six months ago generally was a lot more consistent than it is at the moment. All the little stuff like not having to buffer so many um fractions of movement before Jesse's skip and that sort of stuff, you know? Like basket being able to confidently go through all the text boxes instead of having to wait and do it in a safe location. Yeah, I think overall my ability has obviously increased in that time. But yeah, there's definitely a lot to be said about how much I was just practicing back then. Just the sheer amount of hours and all that sort of stuff. But who needs to be good when you can just have massive five minute time saves? Just find a new strat and you're all good. You never have to practice. Two. Three. Four. And the change. Three changes and four attacks. Let's go. It's, I swear to God, almost worth putting it on active for this encounter. Although that should be the only encounter I get here. So the 20 steps I did. I'm pretty sure it cuts out the, um, the second sword dance. I know it cuts out the second hell house. The, um, the non-side attack hell house. Come on. One oh two, not too bad. I think as long as I'm in the meeting by one oh three, I'm relatively happy. flush because it's nasty if you don't. <clears throat> so do you reckon Blink, if you're doing a weekly segment, that'll be like a, a pre-recorded thing that you'll upload or are you going to stream it? Because a, a weekly, like, live stream about, like, new stuff that's happening and that sort of thing, like, new practice and new methods, that'd be really cool. <clears throat> I'd be quite interested in following along with that. Speaking of following, if you're not following Clock District... Get around it. Man is kind of insane at Spyro. One, two, and three. And he pays me a dollar every time I say his name. Good system. Alright, so should be good movement here. So Jimmy should be late. Do 
you'll pay me five. Hell yeah. Every time I say clock's name, five bucks is pretty generous. So uh, no take backs. But yeah, no, if you are, if you haven't seen Sourdough Runs, he's kind of one of the best in the world at Stuart Little. And Toy Story and Spyro and a whole bunch of other games, actually. You can PayPal or Venmo me, thank you very much. Let's go. Finally, some damn luck. Hell yeah. Only the finest shout outs. Give you a couple of years. Getting the worst leg cramps today. Real bad. I think I'm just like sitting at a, a weird angle. Alright, watch out for pirates. No, it's not here. It's the next one, isn't it? It's the 105.52 Genova tank. <laughs> Not sure why I'm mashing here. I don't need to. It's like three text boxes. This is stupid. Alright, um... I want to say that both Barrett and Tifa are on low health, or like middle-ish health, but I think I'm remembering that from last run. Um, so, as always, when in doubt, I'm just going to take the course of least action and just get rid of Tifa. So I don't have to press down one time. And if Barrett's on fuck all health, then bugger. A 1 to 15 run? I don't think so. Not um, not a single segment for sure. I have seen a few people um do. I'm not sure if it's necessarily a 1 through 15 in that order. Like they might have done like non-mainline games as well. But I've seen people streaming with timers on, saying they're completing all the Final Fantasy games. Nah, fuck that. I do want to learn Final Fantasy one um pretty soon actually. If it's got more health there. As long as Barrett's not like close to dead, it's all good. Well, actually, she is a slight bit faster with her grenade animation, so maybe I'll give it a shot. Hmm. Yeah, I would like to learn Final Fantasy 1 now the uh, Pixel remake is out. Maybe 1, 2, there we go. As far as I know, like, 1 is just a RNG fiesta. My fuck. And that was a triple miss on Shady Breath as well. Let's go. <clears throat> Ever seen FF6? Nah. I, um, I try and avoid the ones I haven't played because I do want to play all of them eventually. So, try and stay like relatively spoiler free. It's kind of a shitty fight. It's kind of really a shitty fight. Yeah, yeah really shitty fight. Bugger. Okay. 
Um, yeah, I've, I've never played three, four, five, six, ten, two, eleven, and fourteen because they're MMOs, and fifteen. Oh, I know, like the thirteen sequels are the ones I haven't played, but apart from that, I've, I've done all the mainline ones. Pretty sure I just need to go on active there. I don't put red in the back row because it's... Or extra inputs. Something like that. Yeah, I've heard six is like one of the best ones for sure. Um, like story, characters, all that sort of stuff. And I, I do own all of the six pixel remakes. So I got them all when they were on sale for like a hundred bucks or something like that instead of... 110 or something stupid. But... Yeah, I've only played through one and half of two so far. I'm going for 100% achievements, just like following a guide, playing through it. It's just mostly like late at night when I'm a bit stoned sort of thing. I haven't played for a couple of months now. Now I think about it. I probably should do. I got like 51% of the achievements in two and then just haven't touched it since. Yeah, Chrono Trigger was sick. I have heard that it's kind of a shit to speedrun. And it's not really that appealing of a speedrun game for me. But it's it's fun to watch, at least. <clears throat> and also it was fun casually when I was a kid. I think I tried it again when I was like 14 or 15 on the, um, the PSP, like just with an emulator. But I don't think I've ever gotten very far into it, honestly. The problem I have with most JRPGs is like I get a good chunk of the way through like I just do like a concentrated burst of effort where it's like 20, 30, 40 hours over a couple of days or over a week or something and then I just fizzle out really fast. Version sucks because it loads. Yeah, true. Run up, don't hit circle. <clears throat> but I wouldn't mind doing the, um, this is a quick, like, one day project type thing. I wouldn't mind doing the, I think it's original Final Fantasy 1, like the, the SNES version. Because you can do, like, the, the 64 door glitch or whatever it is, where if you go up the ladders and through, like, 64 doors, it warps you right to the credits. I think it's like a, a two minute category or a five minute category or something like that. What? But yeah, it'd be fun just to piss around with like the micro categories like that. Like um, Spyro any percent as well. Anything less than five minutes is just good for a little chuckle. I definitely wouldn't want to grind a short category though, where it's like, you know, every actual fraction of a second really adds up. Alright, sick paralysis dodge coming up. This is kind of a banger. <laughs> Even though it's like, not really a head bobber or anything like that. It's still a little bit of a tune. Alright, so I got one chance at this. Missed it by a single frame, I reckon. I could have saved four seconds, which is why I'm only doing like one little attempt at lining it up. Because, yeah, anything more than half a second is wasting time. Ba -da -bum. Don't have to be careful about steps anymore, so I can just go straight past him. 
is kind of gaming. Be no encounter until the stairs. Yeah, I was wrong. Oh, Matt, I swear to God, mate. Swear to God. You keep your... Your refuse luck to yourself, thank you very much. You keep that out of my sub hundred. This run is my baby, how dare you. Except for the fact that it's... You know, since the very start been in the red. It's still my baby. Impossible. Nah. Nah, see it's just a, a spliced video. What are you talking about? This isn't spliced. See? Wait, who said that? Another one? Let's be honest here, there's like three of my runs haven't been spliced. I think even my um my last Spyro PB of the the full length any percent. I think the description I put in was something about having more seamless splices in this run, that's why I uploaded it. I can't wait for the day someone actually takes it seriously and just starts like deep diving all of my runs trying to find something in there. I think that's when you've truly made it as a speedrunner. Is when people are like, nah fuck, he's definitely cheating. Let's get him. Alright, so what do I do differently here? Leave it in no back row. That's it. Oh, and I don't have to use Brave Run Rufus anymore. A little bit slower. Alrighty. One thing that's going to be really fun is if we do manage to get 7th Heaven skip back into this category, if you remove uh, Materia there, your run just dies instantly. If you mess through that box, then game over. And it's the most irritating and annoying and boring way to lose a run. And I've done it twice, and I really wish I'd never do it again. It was like an hour and 20 minutes just for a split second of lapsed attention. Nice first attack, let's go, let's go for two. Help yeah. Alright, so I think we skip an attack phase because of that. Oh no, you need 12 in the first phase, don't you? So I need... Three first attacks to skip an attack. Speaking of JRPGs though, with um with Chrono Trigger, was that the sequel to Chrono Cross or was Chrono Cross the sequel to Trigger? But yeah, whichever one it is, I never actually played Cross. Because I always heard Trigger was the better one. But I'm very curious to see like what the main differences were. Trigger was first, was it? Okay. Nice. Four, five, six, seven. Bastard. Plus was on PS1, Trigger was on SNES. Oh. Oh, okay. So, 
maybe, and I'd say there's actually a pretty good chance, I played cross and not trigger. So we take everything I said would about trigger, scrap it, and just, yeah, it's good about cross. Good time to wake up, Barrett. Thanks so much for your contribution this fight. Good deal. Alright, still saving time though. E Easy gold. Easy gold. Point six. This is the run. Guarantee it. But yeah, no, I never had a SNES, so. Like all the SNES games I've ever played have been on emulator, but um I'm pretty sure I had a copy of whichever chrono one it was. No idea. It was all twenty odd years ago, so. Nice first attack. Oh, what was it? Oh, I didn't even realize he lived. What a shit bag. Get them monkers in chat. Thank you very much. Because that was dumb. Alrighty, losing time. Now, let's go. Losing so much time now. Far out. That was a very costly time just to not pay attention. That was what, two extra barriers and a bolt? No menu here. But not a minute behind. The only thing that matters. At this point, I'm very convinced that the whole, like, mashing issue that I've had for the last couple of days is just that I'm not picking up my thumb far enough off the button. So I'm just holding it down rather than hitting it frequently. Or rapidly, I think. <clears throat> Which is weird that I've started doing it, like, in a, a lazier way than normal. I don't feel like I'm doing it differently at all. Next up, I've got IGT minutes. Glad I looked there because they were covered by the game. So hopefully, I can actually get a, a really good wrench to oh, mid get a wrench. Touching shit. Fuck out of here. <clears throat> Yo, what up, Sergu? How you doing, dude? That's good luck. Always appreciated. It's paid off already, thanks to the red bikes. So I spent a couple of hours um, working on Chocolom earlier and Solo Cloud and Time Skip 1.0. So, fingers crossed, we can kind of get something shaking and moving, but yeah, I mean, when I'm a minute behind, I'm not gonna be that disappointed if the run doesn't come to fruition. But I really do want to see this through, just so I can at least say I've done the warps now, you know? 
It's a cool looking thing, but I still haven't done it myself. At this point, I'm definitely falling behind the pack. <clears throat> That's you, Matt, RJ. Maybe somebody else has already done a run. Nah, not bike run. That brings full wusses. Wimps and cowards, mainly. Now, Matt was saying earlier that um he's fun to get more consistent with the buffer though. Um Yeah. If yeah, if I if I continually find that I'm still messing it up in runs, that type of stuff, I might start doing the buffer, but it feels like a bit of a safety net that I might not need at this point. <clears throat> So I'm not going to kill him. I'm not going to kill Cloud against Motorball. But I will do it against the, the Chocobo. And this time I'm going to do 5 bolts, not 4. It's going to make an enormous difference. Yeah, for sure, will do. Have you got the uh, the world map IGTs as well for mid get a wrench? Three. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Encounter sixty five. Yeah. Yellow in the calm. Hell yeah, dude. I love it. Four. Ah, ah, ah. In five. Very far. Really bad bolt rolls. Like, frequently below 200 is not ideal, weirdly enough. Jesus Christ. Mid-127. Alright, we're a minute behind, let's go. This is guaranteed to be a crunchy finish to the run. Because I've got a 17 minute 40 gold to run against for what should be like an 8 minute split now. So what am I doing? I'm doing Barrett skip, just regular, and then I'm doing GT minute. Five, so I'm going to be 126. Too far up, 126.30, 126.35. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, when the manip is that easy, it's really nice. But when it's like seven left and seven menus down, not as nice.
they won slot three. <clears throat> Aiming, let's go. All right. Boko Lua. ATB White and Equipped Lua. And then more IGTs. So the fun begins, hell yeah, dude. From this point, the rest of the run is brand new. One twenty eight oh eight. Oh. One twenty eight fifteen. Cool. So I need to kill myself. And I've got so much health. Hit. Maybe when I encounter Zolom. Done. Easy. Insane. Yeah, but I've only got to fight Zolom once, is the thing. Because I'm so fucking good at getting this Chocolong glitch. Like, just honestly, the tits. Scammed. Okay, so I might not be the tits, but I'm definitely at least one of them. Just the tit at this. Nah, oh, will he get two attacks? Nah, he'll be right. Just YOLO it. Here we go. First try. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Usually he gets two, they say. Nah. You naysayers ain't got shit. Calculated. I told you I've been practicing, mate. I did save outside the farm, yeah. Uh, so this is save one, slot one. Which is just a safety save. Disappointing. Oh, no, I need to save again. Hmm. Save one. Slot one. Just in case I soft lock. Although I know I should, I should have saved when I get off the chocobo here. It would be the actual smart way of doing it. Yeah, so now if I soft lock, I've got to run all that way again.
didn't end up with a full health cloud. Hell yeah, dude. Told ya. Calculated. See the fucking... The fucking river, man. For fuck's sake. Now I've got to run all that goddamn way. Like, I'm not sure why I'm softlocking there so frequently, except for the fact that it's just a fucking crapshoot of a glitch. Right. At this point, I don't think it's worth resaving over that one. Because, yeah, it just takes too much time to save twice. I'll cop the time loss if I softlock again. Yeah, that looks better. One thirty-two thirty-nine. Sorry. One thirty-two forty-one is left right. One thirty-two forty-one is left right. Cool. One thirty-two forty-one is left right. Now what do I do? Load reactor 2 and die. So this should be good because I've got 2 health Barrett from memory. Then I load 61. No, 65, sorry. I load slot 165 and do left, right. Um, I've also got a good magic stat. I was doing like 94s and 96s against Scorpion. So I don't know. If that'll, um, have also had, like, good ice rolls. Oh. Okay. Now I load three Zolom and I fight the Zolom. Yeah, I've, I've got good magic, yeah. Um, load three Zolom, fight Zolom. Save one, slot one. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Save one, slot one. Load straight down. Right, so this is where it gets kind of fucky with how, like, my screen recording is. So I'm gonna load this and it's not gonna show up until, like, a second later. Yeah. Yeah, I'm already in the second room by the time it comes up, eh? Cool. Well, this is the sub-100 that I wanted so desperately for months. It's not a world record, I don't believe. Because some, some cheeky fucker stole that from me. And I'm going to dox him. I'm gonna find out where he lives. Find out what his real name is. But nah, this is good. This is the run. This is what I've wanted for a long time. Oh, record for non-turbo. Nice. <laughs> No, cool. I'm I'm really, really stoked about this. I've run this category for almost a year. And now I've beaten it in less than a hundred minutes. And that's so fucking cool, man. Holy shit. Like when I learned it, my original goal was a sub 230. And now it's just like, nah. It, nah. Should have braved. <clears throat> cool, 138.58. Let's go. Hell yeah. Thanks for both of those Gs. Yeah, what up, RJ? Uh, you think you can increase the hook rate? Oh, is that what hook rate does? 
Ah, uh, that's cool as. It's always just been a term that I've never heard of, so I just don't touch in case it breaks things. Hell yeah. Zergo, Matt, Nostro, Boris, everyone. Cool. This category is now over. I'm free. I can move on. I was a minute behind, now I'm five minutes ahead. Cool, that's like, yeah. I'm really, really happy with that. Yeah, what up, Fitz? How you doing? Cheers, Dino. Cool. I would really, really love to get like a, a low 126 motorball into a PB. 